Okay, another environment where we like to look at is the micro environment. Micro environments are a bit harder because these are still considered external to the organization, but they still have a direct correlation with the organization. Hopefully you'll see. So when looking at the micro environment, I often think it's best to think of the supply chain first of all, because once again, how what they do will affect directly affect us as a company. So let's start with a the company there roughly in the middle of the supply chain. So first you look at your suppliers, because once again, if anything happens to your suppliers, it'll have a knock on effect to you. So if your suppliers have to put up prices, this might mean you're going to have to put up prices. If your suppliers can't get hold of anything, you won't be able to get hold of anything. Conversely, if your suppliers can get hold of something in abundance, they may be able to pass it on to you cheaper and you'll be able to make, do something with it. After your company, then we have what we call intermediaries. Think of these, maybe these might be the companies that do the advertising for your company, because if they advertise your products wrong to the wrong demographic, this might have severe consequences. It might be, the intermediaries might be the delivery companies. You know, it's if you look on Amazon, a lot of the reviews, a lot of the bad reviews are actually based more around delivery. Now, is that Amazon's fault? Because they ask us a third party to deliver it. However, it's still Amazon that reflects bad on. So even though these, these intermediaries are our company, they are still reflected on what we do and they pay a big part of it. And ultimately, the ultimate com uh, stakeholder we have to satisfy is the customer. You know, the customer is king. Everything we do is focused towards the customer, hopefully. So therefore, they are a major micro stakeholder because whatever they want, they, if they suddenly taste change and everything has to be brown now instead of orange, that's what we've got to do. You know, such as the explosion of salted caramel a few years ago. Who saw that coming? Another micro st stakeholder I often think is quite interesting that people forget. Your competitors, they bear a direct relation to what you do. If they drop prices, do you have to drop prices? Or do you exploit that fact and say, we're not dropping prices because we're better quality. But whatever they do does have an impact on you. And whatever you do, conversely, has an impact on them. You know, can you make them drop their prices? And then finally, we look at the general public. These are people that aren't yet customers. That's why it's the same symbol as the smiley face. But they're not in our supply chain. And as we said, these still have a great big influence on what we do. They might change society, such as some of the new um, push for plastic free is coming through or sugar tax, etc. That's part of the general public pushing the government, pushing the company. So we need to know this micro environment, not as big as the macro, but they still have a very direct effect. And as you see there, what I've just said, the general public push out towards the politics and the politics pushes back in. So we go from micro to macro back to affecting us again. So all these, some of these, these are the main ones from the micro environment. There are others, but as I said, these are the main ones to focus your time on.